So today we just wanted to do a uh, quick demonstration of, of, of the fentanyl detection capabilities of our police dogs in the RCMP. So what we had today was uh, Corporal Dan Block from Red Deer with his dog, uh, police service dog Eve, came out here. We had some uh, real fentanyl samples uh, that, that we've supplying to all our dog teams, uh, all our narcotic dog teams across the country. Uh, we had those hidden out to show how the dog can uh, go around and detect the uh, fentanyl um, and samples without uh, in, a, in a safe manner. This hasn't been done before. We were the first two in the world to come up with it. Uh, we haven't trained uh, fentanyl. We haven't been able to train on because of how dangerous it is. Um, we, we took the, the danger and, and had a simple solution of being able to take it from a powdered form to a liquid form to make it safe for us uh, or, or safer for us to handle. Um, the training is done so that the dogs are very safe, the handlers are very safe when we do this training. Um, so from that now, uh, we've had requests from around the world, uh, especially the U.S. and Mexico, uh, to come in and uh, learn our procedures and what we're doing. Before we had this technique, dogs would go out in the world, uh, they would be coming across fentanyl every day and not realizing it. Uh, now that they can detect fentanyl, um, they'll, they'll provide that positive uh, sit confirmation where they won't aggress the hide, they won't uh, pursue to the source. So, in fact, it keeps the dogs and the handlers safer. Once our dogs are trained, um, you saw today in the demonstration how quickly they pick it up and how they retain it. So we're looking at uh, big things to come of this.